Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to show you probably the best spot to level up your Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Yes, friends, I can speak from experience. I can relate. Leveling up your Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond and Shen and Pearl is a pretty annoying thing because there isn't that many places to do it. We've just finished a 19 and a half hour sleep lock in Brilliant Diamond Shen and Pearl, and I genuinely wish I had this method available to me to level up for the Elite Four. But as you are going to be in post game to do this method, you're going to want to be doing this for the battle tower or for online battles. So hopefully this method is useful for you. Some prereqs before we get into it. Obviously, you're going to need to be in your post game. You're going to need to have beat the Elite Four. You're going to need to have your national decks and you're going to have to have access to the fight area location on the map. Also, to maximize this technique, you're going to really need a lucky egg. Now, there are a couple of locations where you can get the lucky egg but rather than explain it let's jump into game and i'll show you everything that you need to do to do this method most effectively to get the lucky egg what you need to do is come to snow point city and then you need to go into the underground so you would need your explorer kit once you're in the underground you want to be heading to the top left hand corner of the map and once you're here it will be called the icy cave and if we can avoid this tauros I'm not going to be able to avoid it. You can swim around, you can walk around, but if there's a Pokemon in the way and you want to avoid it like we are, you just want to head over to this middle section of the, the cave and it will be literally sitting right here and uh, you'll be able to pick it up and collect it. I have already got it in my game, so that is the reason why it's not here, but it is in this vicinity where we are right now. The next place to get a lucky egg is going to be by heading to the fight area. Once you're here, you want to head up towards the battle zone. Uh, you're going to need some battle points to actually obtain the lucky egg and you're going to want to go into the battle zone or battle tower shop and you will want to speak to this NPC here which is on the left of the counters and once you've spoke to her you'll see in the selection here that the lucky egg is available to buy but it is 77 battle points so it is a big grind to actually get to the point where you're able to buy it but if you are wanting a, an additional one from the one you've already got then that is your option for being able to buy it so when you're ready to head over to battle the trainer that we're talking about and this guy you want to have your pokemon in your party ready to go the one that you want to level up you want to come to the survival area which is just up from the fight area and you want to make your way east and just take this route here and I'll take you exactly where you want to be going. You want to be heading towards route 228 and there is a trainer there that we're going to be using the versus seeker on to get the biggest XP payout uh, possible I think in the game to be honest. So once you're here this is route 228 you want to take a I guess it's a right but just come straight down and this is the trainer right here. This ace trainer is the one that you're gonna to want to battle. On the map, you wanna be at route 228. This is where you wanna to be to do this method. I've battled her already before. So what you wanna do is just go into your bag or if you've got your Versus Seeker set up uh, on your controller. So to set it up on your controller, you can come to your key items and then register it with one of your, um, obviously, I'll use a different item, but you want to register and then set it to one of those toggles. So if it's the only one when you press the, the, the plus button, then that will be the only thing that activates. So just pressing the plus button and you can see that the, the, the markers came up. So we're ready to go. As you can see, we've got our Gibble level one in our party with the lucky egg and we are ready to go. So when you interact with this trainer, she will be able to battle. Bear in mind, if you've completely elite four, got your national decks and encountered Heatran, she will level up after the first time of the Versus Seeker round, so it will maximize her levels. The first time round, you're gonna battle our Pokemon are all about level 54. The second time round, if you have done all the, the prereqs which I would have talked about, beating the Elite Four, which you obviously have to have done to get to this stage, got your national decks exactly, but beating Heatran or encountering Heatran will allow you to get to that next level, taking them to 59, which does give you an even bigger payout. So you kind of just want to plow through these early ones. The first Pokemon is going to be Ambipom on level 59. You can see the payout here. This isn't going to be the biggest payout, of course, here. So we're going to just take a look at what the payout is here. 6,000 for the Gibble here with the Lucky Egg. So it's a nice 
increment <laughs> for the first one, of course. So that's that's just the Ambipom. Um, and then the next Pokemon up is going to be a Rapidash. Again, all the Pokemon are going to be on the same level. But you're going to get about the same payout. But it's the final Pokemon that you're going to want to be a little bit more concerned about because that's the one that's going to give the payout and I believe it's the only trainer in the entire game that has this Pokemon where you can use the Versus Seeker on. Uh, the other trainers that have Blissies and Chanseys in the game, they don't have access. To, they're not going to be able to be utilized with the Versus Seeker because they're in caves or elsewhere. So here we go. Chansey is the last one, level 59, and we're going to see how much of a pair we're going to be able to get from the Chansey as well. There we go. We could use Mac Punch there, but anything strong against the Chansey, physical attack is going to be able to take it down pretty quickly. Not going to have to worry. And then you can see the XP 8,000 there for the Gable um, and making a huge, huge from level 1 to level 25 in that first battle. So we're not really concerned about learning moves just now. So that is the first time done. So once you've done it once, you get um, 7,000 Poké Dollars as well. If you've got the Amulet coin attached to the Pokémon in the first of your party, because it just makes sense to do it. So you can get a bit more money while you're doing this process. So again, you just want to do this process over again and just do that 100 steps, recharge your Versus Seeker. Once you've recharged it, just hit it again. She'll activate. Sometimes she might not. So it would mean just recharging the Versus Seeker again. But you want to just do this process over and over again, like I say, until you have leveled up the Pokemon to the desired level. For this one, we are looking at getting Gibble up to a Garchomp at level 50, so it's ready for the Battle Tower. That's the idea for this one, and then we can also use it in competitive play. It's also worth trying to EV your Pokemon before coming to do this, so you don't have to reset EVs afterwards, and you can just kind of level up. Uh, your Pokemon without having to the, the hassle of having to EV or get rid of EVs after you've leveled it up and then re EV them. And once you've done it over enough times, you can see that eventually you're going to get the Pokemon to the level that you wanted to. This took about nine times for us to get Garchomp up to level 50. We had already EV'd it, so we didn't have to worry about having to EV it once the, the battle was done. You can see this is a super quick method of leveling your Pokemon up, probably one of the most effective ways in-game to do it that I know of. The only issue is getting additional lucky eggs. There is one free, but the other ones you're going to have to pay for with battle points, which is a little stumbling block, but you've got one and it is going to be able to do it. So friends, I hope you found this guide useful. Remember it's 228. Try and get a lucky egg. Try and get multiple lucky eggs if you can, and then go to town with the Versus Seeker on this trainer. You're going to be getting about 13 to 14,000 XP for a Pokemon that is in your party that doesn't take part in the battling but if you do start battling with that Pokemon once it's level stewed or start getting higher up then you're going to get an even bigger payout for that so it is a definitely probably one of the best spots in the game I think it's the only spot where there is a Chansey that can be utilized with the Versus Seeker in the game the other Chansey or Blissies that are available in the game are in locations where the Versus Seeker cannot work Versus Seeker cannot work in caves and things like that for instance so I don't know why but this is one of the best ways and best spots in the game. So have fun with it. Hope it helps. If it has helped, please drop a like on the video. Do consider subscribing to the channel for more guides like this. And I will see you all for another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.